Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a, another beer review. You guys ready to drink some OG West Coast Whales? <laughs> this is. I can't believe I'm reviewing this beer on my channel. Um, I can't believe that this beer is in a bottle. I just can't believe a lot of things about this video. Um, I don't think this beer needs an introduction, um, but this is the one and only from Russian River Brewing Company. This is Pliny the Younger. Um, we're all familiar with Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Younger is a once a year release from Russian River. Um, up until this year, it was draft only, and they decided this year to bottle it. They just expanded. Um, they're in Santa Rosa, they're in Windsor, um, and I guess that they were able to brew enough to where they bottled it. Uh, these bottles, if you went to the uh, to the brewery, two bottles per person per day, I think, is how they were doing it. So, um, yeah, this beer comes courtesy of my man Kingsley. I appreciate you, bro. I love you. Thank you for sending this. Uh, I've known Kingsley for 10 plus years. I was lucky enough to be in his wedding. Like, we've been buddies for a long, long time. And he went with a few friends to Younger this year. And he uh, shot me a text and said, hey, I have a bottle of Plenty of the Younger for you. So, um, I'm blown away. I always, I mean, he's been one of my best friends but the beer community is insane it's crazy just that someone would be kind enough to send this so um this was bottled on uh november or november <laughs> february 5th um today is february 26th so we're just at three weeks old um i think this is 10 point does it say the abb on it 10.25 percent alcohol by volume um i mean this is essentially Pliny the Elder's bigger brother, I think. Um, I've had this one other time. I had it in 2015 at Pizza Port with my brother-in-law Lane. I actually shot a really shitty video on my phone. Um, it's on my YouTube channel somewhere. There, the audio was terrible. I wasn't on camera the whole time. We just, it was stupid. But um, I figured, I mean, I didn't know how often I would like be able to have this. So I wanted to like kind of capture the experience. It was a fun day, but um, figured we'd give this a proper review. Uh, says on the bottle, Pliny the Younger was first brewed as a seasonal release during the slow days of winter of 2005. So I guess maybe it's a 15 year anniversary thing. I don't know. Let's get into it. We'll stop talking. Um, you do hear stories. I mean, this beer has gotten really, really hyped the last, I don't know, six, seven, eight years. But there's stories that I've heard from people that um, this beer used to get put in kegs and sent to bars and it would sit there for three weeks. No one really cared about it. So kind of crazy. So uh, we're going to use our Russian River pint glass because beer tastes better out of proper glassware. I'm excited. We're going to solo dome this on a Wednesday because why the fuck not? Um, Pliny the Elder is one of my favorite beers of all time. I've reviewed that beer a couple times on my channel. Um, once by myself and once with my man Nathan Ryerson who I miss dearly. Um, you guys can check those reviews out if you'd like. But yeah, let's get into this. Um, this is an amazingly clear West Coast looking beer. Um, don't know what the lights are doing to this beer on camera, but it's that straw lemonade-y um, sitting in front of the bright lights. Crystal clear, tons of carbonation. Um, I don't know, half a finger bright white head. It's dissipating quickly. You'd expect that with a, you know, almost 10.5% IPA. This is, there's a chill haze on it. This is fresh out of the fridge. Um, if you guys are new to my beer reviews, welcome. Um, I drink triple IPAs extremely cold. I don't let them warm up. Um, I don't like them getting sweet. I don't like them getting boozy. And I feel like when they're cold, they don't do that. So that's how I like them. Um, if you're not a fan of that, I don't know what to tell you. So let's go ahead and shove our fat nose in this one. I should have watched my old review to kind of, re I don't remember this beer. It's been five years. So I have no recollection of what this beer was like. Um, I'm sure I lost my mind over it because of hype, but let's smell it. See what you got. This smells like candied orange and candied tangerine. It smells sweet, but it does not smell like that malty sweet. It smells crazy hoppy even. I mean, people will say this is old. It's three weeks in the bottle. It's still explosively, um, explosively citrus forward. It's got that like classic Russian River. If you've had Pliny the Elder, it's that pithy, zesty, grapefruity, piney, um, intensely like grassy hop thing. But yeah, it smells like orange or like tangerine hard candy. Um, it just, fuck, it smells really, really good. It, you don't smell booze when it's cold like this at, you know, almost 10.5%. I mean, that's pretty much all there is on the nose. It's not crazy complex. Um, it smells West Coast. It smells, it smells like it's going to be hoppy and bitter, which I love. I'm a West Coast 
IPA fanboy at heart. Um, so yeah, let's go and taste the Kings. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Got a little rockets. Grizzlies going on. Grizzlies are wearing their throwbacks. Wow. <laughs> that is really fucking good. Holy smokes, that is... If you guys are like me, and over the last four or five years, you've kind of like been juiced out, and not that you're sick of hazy beers, but you're like wanting West Coast IPA, this is it. That is... <laughs> this is bringing me... Like, this is... This is giving me all the feels. Taste falls and nose. It's candied orange and tangerine, but it is crazy, intensely hoppy. It, it just digs into your tongue. It's pithy, it's zesty. Um, it's very floral. It gives you that lingering, like if you were to bite into a lemon peel, um, that zestiness. It's so crisp though, clean and crazy, crazy drying on the finish. Um, I don't know if that comes from the alcohol, like an alcohol dryness. It could be. Um, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like syrupy. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like crazy over-the-top malty. Um, there's like a definite like sourdough bready thing on the finish of that. But it's so crazy intense with the citrus and the pithy like lemon-lime zest that it balances that out, uh, balances that out nicely. Um, this is a sweet beer, but it doesn't feel like it's crazy over the top sweet. That candied like citrus note is so good on the front of your tongue. And as it goes across, it just goes old school. Like I said, it just, I don't know what the, does it say the IBUs on this bottle? I thought they used to do that. I don't, they don't, but it's intensely bitter, um, biting, lingering. It, it is. I, I don't remember it being this floral. This this is more floral to me um, than I like. I, I know I don't remember the beer, but I don't. I don't even remember Pliny the Elder being this floral. Um, this is crazy. It's so good. Um, I mean, you go to the brewery. I think it's still like a six to seven hour kind of a day. You wait in line. You get to drink beers. You get a couple bottles. Uh, is this worth doing? If you're a West Coast IPA lover, I would say yes. One of these years, I'm gonna make it up there and do it. Um, this is remarkably easy drinking for almost 10.5%. This is the epitome of West Coast IPA. Um, I mean, this was, you know, one of the original white whales. So is this, like, guys are selling this, like I've seen secondary sales of this for like 150 bucks a bottle. Is it worth that? No, not, not a chance. But if you have the means to go visit Russian River, they're still doing it. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to go on, but go get, go get some. Like, this is one of those beers that if you're a ticker, if you like to check stuff off, this is well worth, uh, worth your time. This beer is amazing. It's world class. You're not going to find many West Coast Triple IPAs that are better than this. It's fucking fantastic. So, uh, we'll leave it at that. This beer is fire. I will say, not the biggest fan of this label art, but whatever. It's all right. Plenty of younger February 2020. So, uh, that's it. We can leave the review at that. Kings, I love you, bro. Thanks for sending this. I'm going to enjoy sipping on this the rest of the evening. So, um, yeah. Have you guys had this year's vintage? Did you get bottles of it? Um, share your stories. I'd love to hear how your uh, younger day went. Um, this is amazing. I love it. So, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these